Viewers might be shocked to see how much Formula One wheels have changed today from when they were first tested on the track 70 years ago in the 1950s. But let's face it, times have changed, and so have Formula One wheels. Be sure to watch the video to the end to find out how you can get involved in the 100,000 subscriber free NOS kit giveaway. So, Formula One wheels. The original design of Formula One cars is vastly different to what it is today, and the wheels are no exception. Perhaps one of the only similarities between the wheels back in 1950 to the present day is that both models raced on Pirelli tires. But it appears that besides this, only differences follow. The wheels on Formula One cars are perhaps one of the most interesting components to consider, especially as they have developed so much over the years. The hard work that has gone into designing and producing these wheels over time rivals that for any of the other complex components. Manufacturers have also been on the lookout for new, innovative designs that will help these racing cars perform smoother, with the ability to take on different conditions more easily and not to mention performing faster overall. It might also be worth noting that the wheel manufacturer's rivalry in this area is just as strong as the rivalry seen between engine suppliers. Old Tire Models The oldest models used in the first season of Formula 1 were astonishingly skinnier compared to anything we have seen in these racing competitions since. In these older seasons, there used to be much more freedom in wheel design, with a more neglected focus on safety. Tires continued to grow wider a decade after the first season, although they still adopted grooves. The 1970s brought about slicks and boosted grip levels, increasing both speeds around corners as well as acceleration. Increased grip levels increase the safety of this daring sport, with the protection of racing drivers becoming more and more of a priority through revised regulations. Within only a couple of decades, the improvement of wheel designs was already becoming noticeable in enhanced racing performance. Tires today. In modern tyres, it might be common knowledge of how big the wheels are, especially compared to when they were first modelled in the 1950s. The front tyres are 305mm wide, whilst the rear ones are even wider at 405mm. There are different tyre choices available for modern races, with different compounds adapting better to varying temperatures and strategies. Of course, weather conditions must be taken into account when making this decision. After all, only wet weather tyres include the right grooves to efficiently displace water. The choice of what wheels to use can affect a driver's performance significantly, especially when the tyres become warm with age. All of the competitive racing rims are now manufactured from magnesium alloys, with strict rules and regulations now dictating the exact alloys that are required in the wheels to keep in line with health and safety priorities. The combination of these specific materials used results in high durability, quality, as well as lightweight construction. The materials are now machined in a single monoblock piece to create maximum strength, and they're secured on the suspension uprights by a locking wheel nut in the center. With manufacturers wanting to better their designs every year with new developments, there are certain features that you can see a clear change in. Let's talk through a few of them. Aerodynamic features. Let's talk about airflow concerning the wheel design. Of course, airflow through a wheel can have a crucial impact on the overall aerodynamic performance of the cars, something manufacturers need to seriously take into account when they want the cars to be as efficient as possible. Therefore, the designs to condition the airflow through the wheels have been developed over time, and they're also dependent on other components in the car to reach maximum effectiveness, such as the brake cooling ducts. The biggest developments in this area took place in 2006 and 2007, when the season saw the use of disc-shaped devices covering the outside of the wheel. In 2010, this design had to be removed due to revised regulations. 
Whilst an aerodynamic device was incorporated into the wheel structure following these regulations, this was then eliminated too. It's demonstrated here how much effort manufacturers and teams dedicate to small components of the racing car designs. And in this, the high standard of design optimization that the modern generation of cars continuously strives to achieve. Reducing the time spent at the pit stops. In recent times, teams have worked hard to develop the speed of the charging of tires in the pit stops. Of course, teams and drivers want to carry these stops out as quickly as possible, wanting manufacturers to make innovative and more efficient designs for improving this. So, since around 2010, manufacturers have tended to create advanced wheel nuts. These can lock the wheels in place faster than ever before by the use of a pneumatic fastener. Simultaneously applying a safety pin to stop the wheels from running off if they're not securely fastened. By 2012, the majority of teams had started using the development of the wheel nut in the rim. Manufacturing techniques. From when Formula One first started to the present day, there have been noticeable changes in the manufacturing techniques of the wheels. Whilst the old designs cast the magnesium used to create the wheels, it is now forged under a press. The forging process is now widely used due to its obvious advantages, including the fact that forged wheels are much lighter than molded wheels. This lightness improves the car's racing performance by improving the suspensions and the vehicle's contact with the track surface. This is especially true on particularly rough terrain and corners. After being turned to create the shape of the wheel, the material is then milled, the spokes being developed with a five-axis machine. A two-axis machine was previously used around 10 years ago, but the developed five-axis machine allows for better consistency and quality. Additionally, more rigorous tests and checks now take place at the end of the production stage than in earlier seasons, ensuring maximum stability and quality. As you can probably see, Formula One wheels have developed significantly throughout the years, with manufacturers consistently aiming to improve the performance of vehicles on the track, making them faster, smoother and more efficient than ever. With materials, manufacturing techniques and regulations changing over time, you can expect to see more innovations in manufacturing technologies to come in the near future. That's going to do it for this video. To be in with a chance of winning a wet NOS kit when the channel reaches 100,000 subscribers, simply like and comment on this video, then keep an eye out on the Crazy Speed Facebook page to see if you were picked as the winner. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.